Hi everybody, this is Joe Jurek again, coming to you live from Hawaii on the island of Oahu. Today I want to talk to you about short sales. You know, we've all heard in the past, short sales are anything but short, right? What is a short sale? Let's talk about it a little bit. A short sale is where somebody might have bought a house, say, for half a million dollars when the market was booming straight up. And then after the bubble had burst, the property dropped to maybe 200. And maybe in today's market it's only worth 350, but they need to sell for a life-changing event. Something happened in their life, they no longer can afford the house. It's only worth 350 today, but they're still into it maybe for 490 or 495. So they go to the bank and say, can we sell this home short of what we owe you? And the bank, if they agree, they can put it on the market as a short sale. Once they get an offer, the bank plus the homeowner has to decide whether they want to accept it or not. And as we look at deals today, or we try to find more ways to find deals, some of you may have ignored short sales in the past, thinking they are a lot of work, I'll make an offer today and not hear back for a year, year and a half, two years. And in some cases that's true. But here's a golden nugget tip for you that I want to share. Why not talk to realtors that normally handle the short sales and tell them if any of them come on the market and get an offer, accept it and the original buyer backs out and it ends up back on the market at a pre-negotiated price to contact you first. Those short sales can close a little quicker, in some cases 30 to 60 days. So what did I mean by that? I might have put an offer on a short sale, a year and a half went by as an average home, uh, looking up to buy a home as an average homeowner, and the realtor called me back and said, hey, that offer you made a year and a half ago finally got accepted. And the homeowner has moved on and said, hey, I found another house. I no longer want that house. I want those realtors to call me first and run those by me. So here's the thing I tell you to do. Go out there, look at some short sales in your own market or the markets that you're working. Talk to those realtors and ask them, on average, how long are they taking the close or if a short sale gets accepted, but the original offer, the original buyer backs out from their offer, can they call you first when they relist it? In some cases, you might find a motivated bank that's willing to wheel or deal a little bit more than they might have based on the situation. So, in other words, as you look at potential deals and you're trying to generate leads, do not overlook short sales you're usually best calling the listing agent and hopefully they can navigate those waters of the short sale because there's a lot of paperwork, a lot of follow-up, and a lot of times they say the realtor has to be like a bulldog with a bone and not let go until they get answers and they get signatures. So go out there, maybe do your next deal, maybe it's gonna be a short sale. I hope I've given you some good ideas to get out there, hit the ground running, and until next time, I'm gonna tell you aloha, and believe and achieve. Take care now. Bye-bye.